Mental health illnesses often have a stigma or a stereotype attached with them. And people that are faced with friends that have these issues often don't know how to react or how to intervene to help out their friends and loved ones. Sharon Engdahl has been teaching mental health first aid to people so that they will know how to help those that are facing these issues. So thank you for coming, Sharon. You're quite welcome. Why was it important to you to have this program for free offered to people in the community and the churches? Because I think that once people learn what to look for, that we can keep people from having severe medical problems with their mental health issues, and they can stay well, get their treatment, stay in work, have their family stay whole, stay away from drugs and alcohol. And so we decided that to do it for free as instructors with a conference that we would reach more people. What do the um, people learn that have signed up for these workshops? What do they learn there? There is a five-step program that they will learn to help them help someone who might be having a mental health crisis or hopefully we would like them to be helped as soon as they have a first episode and perhaps when they are early into the problem and know what to look for so that they can help the person go get help. So let's help these individuals stay well because more people suffer from mental health problems in our world than suffer from heart disease and um, other cancers at combined. That's incredible that there is that amount of people and yet it's something that tends to be hidden and we don't talk about. I think it's, it's definitely a benefit to have this program out there for church members and for pastors because the pastors and church members are coming into contact with those issues that people bring to them. Um, have you had any stories of pastors that have told you that they've used lessons that they've learned from the mental health first aid? Well, that's a great question. We just had some training in the State College area, and we do the training two um, Saturdays in a row because it's a 12-hour course, and it's based on CPR. It, it's definitely evidence-based, and just like the CPR is for people who are having issues there. So um, this pastor came up to me the second Saturday and said, I can't believe it, I went home last Saturday and there was a message on my answering machine and here was a parishioner, I called her and she said, Pastor, I'm in a very, very deep depression and I don't know what to do. And he said he knew what to do because he had just been to training and no one get, has ever been trained in how to help somebody with a mental health problem. And once you are, the confidence is there to know that you're doing something right to help this person help themselves get well. When we talked earlier, you had said that um, you really hope that mental health can be brought to the forefront of people's attention because often the church really does try and care about people that they know are sick and pray for them. Uh, but people that have a mental health issue are keeping it inside and they're not sharing it. Um, so then they're not getting the encouragement that they need. And I think it's wonderful that there's a program out there that is helping church members to recognize those symptoms and to send them cards and, and to be that encouragement for them. Well, that's our dream, is to have in the churches the ability for people to look at these individuals as heroes going through a disease that fighting a disease similar to what a person's fighting cancer with and that they're put on the prayer list that they do receive uh, casseroles because when you have depression sometimes you can't even get off of the couch. Well I just think it's wonderful that there's a program out there that is opening people's eyes to these issues so that they can be helpful and be the family of God that we're called to be. So thank you for sharing that with us, Sharon. You're quite welcome. Thank you for having me. Be sure to check out my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.